Hi everybody. How do you shoot a full body slate? Excellent question. So first off, what I want to say is not every casting office is going to ask you for a full body slate. So I want to make sure that you read the directions so you don't have a freak out, right? And think that you have to do a full body slate for every single casting office. Every office is going to have different specifications based on what type of job that they're casting. So for example, for me on the casting side, a lot of times we'll ask for a full body slate because maybe we want to see, you know, physicality, right? The shape of your body because we might be casting a Nike commercial. Uh, maybe we want to see how tall you are. We might have some height restrictions on the job that we're casting. So First and foremost, read the directions to see if you need a full body slate. If you do need a full body slate, don't freak out. <laughs> don't freak out. It's actually pretty easy to do. So a lot of times I'll see actors um, shoot their full body slate vertically. Our platform, as far as my casting office goes, the vertical slate, it ends up having these big black black boxes on the side and we can barely see you. Sometimes I'll have actors shoot a full body slate like that and um, they're looking down at the camera or there's way too much space between the top of their head and the top of the frame. You wanna have very little negative space, okay, when you're shooting your full body slate. <clears throat> if you end up not being able to get your feet in your full body slate, it's okay. Again, we need to see, maybe we're just looking at the physicality, right? Uh, your shape, basically. What do you look like? Um, full body. So I don't want you to stress out about that. What I usually teach my actors in my class is Shooting a full body slate is you take a still photo or you take a video of yourself um, uh, vertically, okay? And then you shoot your slate video saying your name and your height or whatever, again, the casting office is asking for, maybe name, height, location, maybe name, agent, location, maybe just name. Alrighty, again, depending on the office. So I have people shoot that actual part. Um, horizontally and you're going to shoot it from your chest up. For example, I would say, hey, I'm Melanie Mack and I'm located in New York City. Great. Done. Then what I have actors do is a lot of my actors work with Apple products. So we go into iMovie and I show them how to put that vertical slate where you're stating your name, right? Your location, name, height, whatever. Again, the casting office is asking for, and then how to do picture in picture with your full body slate so that we on the casting side are getting to see both at the same time. I actually really like that. It looks very uniformed. Again, it ends up being a horizontal uh, quick time video for me to upload onto our platform. And I just love the way it looks. A couple of tips for you when you're doing your full body slate. If you can be on a uh, gray or blue backdrop, gray is a lot easier to light. That's, that's really helpful for you. Um, another thing I want to say, if you're shooting your full body slate and you have a ring light and you're shooting on your, your phone, I think it's the easiest. You want to just be sure that you push your equipment out far enough so that you can get from head to toe in that full body slate and you're gonna shoot that vertically. Watch for the negative space, okay? You want very little space between the top of your head and the top of the frame. So that means when you're when, before you go to push your equipment out, you're gonna to wanna to angle your phone down a little bit, right? So you're shooting that full body vertically, but because the way that I teach, you're shooting the actual slate where you're talking horizontally and then you're editing it so we have a horizontal video. It, it th That's the best way for you to do it, okay? My other tip for you, I have a lot of actors do this. A lot of actors have like go-to audition, um, audition wardrobe, which I think is pretty brilliant. So um, one of my actors, she's like, gosh, you know, I find that I'm wearing the same thing and I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm just gonna use a standard, my standard slate for that. I'm just gonna say my name uh, and my location and my agency. And that way I can just send that to casting. I don't have to stress about it. I keep a couple of those um, 
in a folder on my computer or on my phone so I can just grab them and put it before my audition, uh, before my self-tape audition, or I put it at the end of my self-tape audition. Where you place your full body slate with your slate, actually, again, it's gonna depend on the casting office, okay? So for example, uh, I was just coaching somebody and the casting office was like, please put your slate at the end of your take. Another casting office had asked another one of my actors, like, we want your slate separately. Another cat, I know for us on the commercial side at our office, I want your slate right at the top of your self-tape video. So do yourself a favor, save yourself some time and some energy, and make sure you read through those casting director directions when it comes to your full body slate. Okay, there's a little example that I'm giving right here. This is your full body slate. This is what it looks like, okay? So you'll get to notice it's horizontal um, when uh, I'm saying my name and then you get to see my vertical shot at the same time, okay? All right, let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video. Bye.